So, we've moved to the middle of nowhere. Mum and Dad didn't want me to say anything until the big announcement, but you'll have all heard about how they've decided to set up their space programme on this tiny island halfway between Scotland and Ireland. Well, last week we were living in North London, where there were shops and cafes and cinemas and stuff to do, and well, now we're here. Me and my sister said we didn't want to go, and Mum and Dad listened... And, well, you already know how that turned out. The Isle of Loon. I've never heard of it. It's beautiful. You'll love it. Will I, though? I'm googling it now. It's spelled L-U-N-E, not L-O-O-N. Your mum and I have been out there. The people are so friendly. Did you meet them all? It says on Wikipedia there's only 300 of them. We know. It'll be a change of pace, I, I but... I bet it's not accessible. But actually, you'd be surprised... And the buildings that aren't accessible, we're paying to upgrade them. They'd better have disabled parking bays. Actually, they don't. What? Because they don't have any cars. Or any roads. Isn't that amazing? What? OK, so if you've watched my videos before, you'll know I have muscular dystrophy, which means I need to walk with a frame. It's no big deal, but I kind of need flat surfaces, and yeah, sometimes it's good to get a rest and take a taxi. So what am I doing on an island with wobbly stone paths and no cars or buses or tubes or anything? Well, it's like medieval times. You can't make Vaughan live somewhere like that. It'll actually be easier for him because everything on the island is so close together. Yeah, when you say everything, what actually is there? Well, there's the school and there's a shop. A shop. One shop. And a fish and chip place, and a pub that does food. No. We can't do this. You can't make us. Uh, but it's all been agreed. We've made a deal with them. We've bought this big house. It's basically a small castle. It was such a bargain. Then you can live there. You can't just take us away from civilization. Now you're just being silly. It's not forever. Just until this project is done. But you've bought a house. Because when we're finished there, it'll be worth more. I'm not going... I've got friends I can stay with. We're all going and that's final. Look, you know how long we've wanted to launch our space programme. And you always liked the idea, both of you. Yeah, but we thought you were going to do it in New Mexico or Australia or somewhere cool. We looked at those places, but there were reasons those didn't work out, OK? The exciting thing is, if we do this on the Isle of Loon, we can do it right now. When you say now, you mean... Next weekend? But I haven't said goodbye to my friends. Don't you kids do all your talking on WhatsApp and stuff? Stop being embarrassing, Dad. Look, if we want to do this, we have to do it now. Space will still be there next year. But the chance to do this won't. Even with all the money we've got, we need other people to put money in too. And if we don't do this now, they'll put their money into someone else's space project. So, here we are. I mean, it is quite nice, I guess. If you like trees and grass and the sea and stuff. But if you order something off Amazon with overnight delivery, it takes two days to get here. There's a ferry that goes from Scotland to Ireland that stops here twice a day, and the 4G reception is terrible. We found that out on the way to school this morning. I can't get a signal. Yeah. Mum and Dad have promised to build them a new mobile mast and set up an open Wi-Fi network for the whole island. What am I meant to do in the meantime? Are you OK walking on this path? I'm fine. It's just not very flat. It's only a gentle slope. I can manage. OK. OK. Where do they all get their hair cut? What? Well, this is the whole of the high street, right? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen a hairdresser yet. Maybe there isn't one. So where do they get the hair cut? Maybe they cut each other's hair. I'm not letting Mum and Dad cut my hair. You'll have to go over to the mainland or get Mum and Dad to bring a hairdresser in by helicopter. <laughs> Listen to that. What? I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's so quiet. It's not so quiet now. 
After they announced the space program, it took all the news people a while to turn up. I suppose they had to find out where the island was first, but they're all here now. By the time me and my sister got home from school, there was a bunch of reporters and cameras outside the house. What do you think of your parents' project? Did you get any say in where the project was? Hey, give my brother some room, please. I'm all right, Maddie. What do you think of the island? Guys, we're doing a full family press conference tomorrow, OK? Until then... What's this about a family press conference tomorrow? Sorry, I didn't think you'd have anything else planned. You were just complaining there was nothing to do around here. You still could have asked before telling the world's media we were going to do it. All right, sorry. Please, will you do a press conference with me and your mother tomorrow after school? Fine. Yeah, fine. Where is Mum? Don't bother her. She's in the study doing a Skype meeting with the construction company. I wasn't going to bother her. I just wanted to know where she was. How was school? Small. I didn't realise Maddie and me were going to be in the same class. Well, yeah, there's only three other kids in your year group. They can't afford to have one teacher for just four kids. You got a problem with us being in the same class? No, it's just weird. Couldn't you get us a tutor? Yeah, Dad, get us a tutor. You won't meet any other kids if you're at home all day with a tutor. We met the other kids. They're weird. Weird how? I don't know, just weird. Like, their clothes and... I don't know. I don't think they've ever met someone with muscular dystrophy before. And I can't understand their accents. You'll get used to it. What lessons did you do? We didn't really do any. Everyone was going on about the space programme all day. (laughs) Were they? Obviously they were. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happened here since they were invaded by Vikings. And they kept asking us about being rich and what it's like having you for parents and boring stuff like that. What is it like? Well, I've never had anyone else's parents, so I don't know. What's this about a competition? You didn't tell us about that. Oh, yes, uh, we're taking someone from the island. But, like a kid? You're someone our age? Yeah. We're still working out the details, but anyone who lives on the island can enter as long as they're under 16, and they'll all compete for a place on the shuttle. But there's only six places on the shuttle. I thought the whole family was going to go. Yeah, about that. We can't all go anyway. Uh, Some of the investors have paid for a place on the shuttle and we need their money. There might not be space for me to go. You promised. You did promise, Dad. I know. But this competition was part of the agreement to set up on the island. We told them we'd give something back and... This is because of my disability, isn't it? No, Vaughan, it's nothing. No, that's not it. Look, sorry, I have to take this. So... If it's got nothing to do with my disability, fine. Anyone can enter as long as they live on the island. And I live here now. So this is me announcing. I'm entering. I'm going to go into space and nobody's going to stop me. (laughs) 